In this video, I drive a magnificent American car with a diesel engine while people watch me. It's about yeah. 10 seconds of that. Excellent. We are just pre warming the glow plugs on a 1981 Oldsmobile Delta 88. Royal Brougham or Brougham? Brougham. 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 Who knows? <laughs> Oh, almost. He's a bit of throttle. <laughs> keep throttle. A lot of throttle. Just keep throttle. Oh! Having the windows, we get the full majesty of that. Claggy! Right, let's squeeze this enormous car out of this tiny field. Uh, handbrake's off, I'm guessing. That uh, may be necessary. Right, so this is John, who bought this car at auction how long ago now? February. February. And what on earth possessed you? Or was it just there? I was there buying something else. Note no, the comedy um, headliner, by the way. Gosh, it even wobbles around over this terrain, doesn't it? There's going to be quite a lot of us just driving very slowly on gravel, so I might pause the camera for a bit. Right, we've reached a, a sealed surface at last, so now I can really put it through its paces. Ooh! That actually picks up a hell of a lot better than I was expecting. What is it? You reckon a 120 brake horsepower? 120 apparently, yeah. yeah. From a 5.7 litre V8 diesel. This is very much a Hubner American car. Is this a junction here? On which way do we go? I think we went right there. Yeah. We have no idea where we are, we're in rural Aberdeenshire and um, yeah, it's very lovely, very cold today. Uh, this is not really the ideal terrain for an American car, I'm thinking. Yeah, the steering is marvellously de devoid of any sort of feel. Reminds me of the Honda SMX, actually. So have you done any economy calculations yet? No, I just to fill it up and uh, every now and again, but it's not as bad as you may think. I think mm. it must be high twenties. Yes, e efficiency isn't the word that springs to mind here at all. Designed for um, hurtling along freeways, I guess, not um, tiny Aberdeenshire rural roads. Weren't these engines renowned for being a bit, well, unreliable and yeah, hopeless? Yeah. Based them on the cooling pe uh, petrol engine, they didn't strengthen the uh, head bolts or increase the number of them, so they stretching the bolts. That does seem an oversight, given how much higher the compression ratio is in the diesel. Yeah. No, and I've noticed you don't seem to get a temperature gauge either. No. No. You get lots of lights. Yeah. Right. Chaos and doom lamps. Good trimming the hedges a bit, isn't it? Ooh. Wheel spin, power. That's 45. I like the fact it's done in fives, not noughts. 55. That's about 60 ish. Yeah, it could sit at that all day, couldn't it? It doesn't 
handled terribly. Mostly that was absorbed by my seat. Woohoo! I'm back and we're still bouncing. Yeah, damping, not so much. Yes, sadly, I think I'm forced to conclude, as I so often do, but I quite like this. Do you mind me asking what sort of a ballpark enabled you to purchase this fine vehicle? Including the commission uh, that was 1,200. Good grief. That's quite a lot of car for the money. Yeah. Even with a saggy headliner. Yes, I'd love to tell you more about the um, Oldsmobile Delta myself, but I don't really know a lot about American cars. One thing we've learnt is that an Oldsmobile is much better over this sort of terrain than a uh, 3 Series BMW. He's having to take it very easily over some sections. But take on a quick tour of the interior while we're driving along on private land. Beautiful steering wheel. Minimalist dashboard, there's not much on it, there's a broken clock. Column gear change, of course. Oh, you've even tidied it up, oh, even better. But yeah, even the instrumentation is minimal. And the suspension is very wobbly. The wiper switch is particularly interesting and the wipers sort of behave um, depending on what you do, but sort of don't. Flush below. Fortunately, it's very good at driving quite slowly. So, as the hordes descend upon the mighty Oldsmobile, I think my conclusion must be that, yes, it's quite dreadful in quite many ways, but very likeable. Uh, the only problem really with driving it along is you can feel the back move side to side as well as up and down. It's um, an interesting sensation, but I mean, I had great fun bimbling around in it, and um, yeah, I think for the money, you can't go wrong. It might not be the best bit of American engineering ever, but look how much the people love it. So, there you go, that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I shall see you in a future video, farewell.